Hello students. So this video has been long overdue. A few of you have been really requesting me to make a video on CW reservation in the Technological University in the NCT of Delhi. So in this video, I am going to be covering five institutes or five universities. One is Delhi Technological University. Second is Netaji Subhash University of Technology. Third is IGDTUW, which means Indira Gandhi Delhi Technological University for Women. Then Triple ITD, which is Indraprasth Institute of Information Technology Delhi. And I will also talk about DSEW, that is Delhi Skill and Entrepreneur University. Now, I am only talking about how you can avail of the CW reservation in these institutes. So, as you know, first of all, you have to appear in JE Main. After you have cleared your JE Main and you have qualified for JAC, which is Joint Admission Counseling, there's a cutoff for that. Once you get that cutoff marks or marks above the cutoff, you are eligible for JAC counseling, which is a joint admission counseling for all these five institutes. You will have to keep checking the joint admission counseling website regularly. There would be a registration after you register yourself. During the process of registration, rather, you will be asked to fill your two categories. First category is your main category which is based upon your caste, something like the general category, EWS category, SC, ST, OBC, etc. The second category that you'll be asked to fill is your subcategory. Under subcategory, you will find the option of defense or you will find the option of paramilitary or you will find the option of police. Now, this CW reservation is applicable for all the three services that I mentioned just now. One is the defense. Defense means Army, Air Force, Navy, paramilitary forces. I have made videos on that, which means BSF, CRPF, CISF, Assam Rifles, etc. And police, you know. I'll also cover what are the various categories in which these three services are given reservation in CW category. Keep watching the video till the end because I'm going to be talking about the documents that you need to submit and upload. And also I'll be talking about the seat which are reserved for the 85% uh, Delhi quota students as well as 15% All India quota students. So allow me to share my screen. All right. So I hope that you all are able to view my screen. So uh, defense... CW category is basically, first of all, I must clarify, it is a horizontal reservation. That means you are not taking seats from anybody's share. These are the seats which are allocated over and above the normal allocation of seats. If the institute has a capacity of 100 seats, then these five seats, which is 5% 5 of 100, are over and above the normal allocation. So we have basically nine priorities under this. Priority nine, one to nine is for the wards of and widows of defense personnel. I'll just tell you every priority in detail. You got to listen to it very, very carefully so that you do not go wrong with your priority because I have seen in the past a number of times students during their joint admission counseling have applied their priority as priority two or priority Four, but then they've been downgraded to priority six or further downgradation has happened. And that ruins your plan of joining a particular college because you get so confused at the last moment. So listening and understanding these priorities is very important. And then I will also talk about other details. So priority, priority one to nine is for the wards and widows of defense personnel. So talking about priority one, please remember it covers both. It covers widows also and it covers wards also. Now, whose widows and wards? Of defense personnel. When I say defense personnel, I exclusively mean Army, Air Force and Navy. So those defense personnel's wards and widows who have been killed in action. 
Now, what documents do you require? You require service particulars, which should contain the family details also. PPO of liberalized family pension and education concession certificate or widow ID card, which is issued by Zilla, Rajya or Kendri Signing Board. Now, priority two. Priority two now does not include widows. It only includes wards of disabled personnel who got disability in action and they were either voted out or invalided out from their service. What documents are required? Discharge certificate with family details, very important. PPO of war injury, original disability certificate clearly stating that disability is attributable to military service and was boarded out. This phrase is important. When you go to get your disability certificate, make sure this phrase is written, disability attributable to military service and boarded out or invalided out. Then you also require education concession certificate or war disabled I card issued by Zilla Rajya or Kendriya Senegal. Now, priority three, it again covers widows. It covers widows as well as wards of defense personnel who died while in service with death attributable to military service. And what are the certificates required? Service particulars are required. PPO of special pen family pension is required. In that it should again be mentioned. Death is attributable to military service. Then education concession certificate or the widow I card, which is issued by Zilla Rajya or Kendriya Senate Court. Now, wards of priority four is only wards. Widows are not. Now, priority four is only wards. Remember this. Wards of disabled personnel who were boarded out or invalided out with disability attributable to military service. Now, what are the required proof that you need to submit? You need to give the discharge certificates. Again, this phrase is important medical board, boarded out and disability attributable to military service should be written. PPO is required, education concession certificate is required, and ID card issued by Zilla, Rajya, or Kendriya Senate Board. Now, priority five is important and is of interest to the larger community because it not only covers the wards of the serving personnel, it also covers the wards of ex-servicemen, from Army, Air Force and Navy, it also covers the wards of paramilitary forces and it also covers the wards of our police personnel. Now, what does this priority has? This priority says that those who are in recipient of gallantry awards. Now, I'm not going to read out all the awards for you. I have displayed it on the screen. You can take a screenshot of it. So, these are the Awards, gallantry award, which your father or mother should be a recipient of, then you are eligible to avail benefit under priority five. Now, let me cover priority six. Priority six is wards of ex servicemen. It is only for the wards of ex servicemen. What are the proof required to prove your priority? Discharge certificate or service particulars, original ex servicemen ID card. PPO, Education Concession Certificate, ESM Card, Widow I Card issued by Zilla, Rajya or Kendri Senate Court. Priority 7. Priority 7 covers wives of defense personnel disabled in action and boarded out from service. And here we require these documents. I, I am again displaying it. Video is getting too long. I want to make it short. So you can take a screenshot to see the uh, documents. <clears throat> Similarly, priority seven is wards of serving personnel, defense personnel. Proof again, I am displaying it here. You can take a screenshot and then we have priority nine, which covers wives of serving personnel. Again, we have uh, the proof given here. You can take a screenshot. Now, what is very important is that I want to show you the seat matrix. How does it work? Because number of times what parents and students do is in order to avail of the 85% Delhi quota, sometimes they change their school from the neighboring states, like from UP, they'll go to Delhi, from other neighboring Haryana, they'll come to Delhi. 
to may take advantage of the 85% quota. But I also want to assure you that if it is really difficult, do not bother yourself and your families. There are ample number of seats here. And if you are doing reasonably well, there is a possibility that you will get a seat through All India Quota also. But again, the final decision is yours and your families, whether you want to do your 11th and 12th from Delhi schools to avail 85% Delhi Quota, or you want to do it uh, do your 11th and 12th from outside of Delhi, depending upon how good, uh, how optimistic you are about getting good grades in your JE main exams, whether your family can take up this sort of responsibility of shifting to a different city altogether. So I'm leaving that decision. It's a very personal decision. Now, before I explain the seat metrics to you, you must understand the terms so terms which are of importance to us are basically main categories that you will get is general, ST, SC, OBC and economically weaker section. These are the abbreviations which are used, GNST, SCOB and EW. Now these are the subcategories for general subcategory there is the abbreviation used is GN. Our point of interest is CW which is the defense category. And in this, again, there is a suffix D. D means Delhi quota, 85%. And O means outside Delhi quota, that is all India quota, which is 15%. So now take a look at the DTU seat matrix. So what is of interest to us is we have economically weaker section CW Delhi. How many seats are there in this category? 11 seats, which is a good number of seats. Again, you see general CW Delhi. How many seats we have? We have 41 seats, which is again a huge number of seats. Then you have SC CW Delhi. Again, you have 17 seats. And again, ST CW Delhi, you have again eight seats here. Then OBC CW Delhi, you have 29 seats. And then you have Economically weaker section CW outside Delhi, you have two seats. Then a general CW outside of Delhi, you have seven seats. And then SC CW outside Delhi, you have three seats. And then you have ST CW outside of Delhi, you have two seats. Then OBC. CW outside Delhi, you have five seats. Now let's talk about Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women, which is only for women as the name suggests. Under general CW Delhi, you have these number of seats. You can total it up. I haven't done the totaling. So under computer science and artificial intelligence are three, computer science is four, then EC is three, EC again, EC AI is three, EC again is one, IT three, MAE is one, and DMM one. So there are a lot of seats again here. Then you look at this schedule cast, CW Delhi, you have again almost one one seat under uh, most of the categories. Schedule type CW Delhi, you have just one seat under computer science engineering. OBC CW Delhi, you have again uh, seats, one, two, three seats almost under each category. Then you have economically weaker section CW Delhi, again you have two seats total. Now look at the general CW outside Delhi. So you have four seats. Then SC CW outside Delhi, there's no seat. Then ST, CW, again, outside Delhi, there's no seat. OBC, CW, outside Delhi, we have two seats. Then again, under economically weaker section, CW, outside Delhi, there's no seat. Now, let's take a look at Triple IT Delhi, Indraprasth Institute of Information Technology. So under G and general CW Delhi, we have total 11 seats. And under SCCW Delhi, we have total three seats. Then OBC CW Delhi, we have six seats. Then uh, economically weaker section Delhi, we have two seats. 
now let's see the all india outside delhi under general cw outside we have two seats only then under sc cw outside delhi we only have one seat then under obc cw outside delhi again there is one seat now let's take a look at netaji subhash university of technology the seat matrix is general cw delhi you have 33 seats which is a lot of seats then you have economically weaker section cw delhi there are eight seats then sc cw delhi you have 12 seats st cw delhi again you have six seats and obc cw delhi you have 21 seats so again a lot of seats here now we will take a look at the outside delhi so general cw outside of delhi there are five seats economically weaker section cw outside delhi there are two seats then sc cw we have two seats st again you see cw category there is one seat outside of delhi and obc cw outside of delhi we have four seats now coming to delhi skill and entrepreneurship university so under general cw delhi you have seven seats under sc cw delhi you have three seats under obc cw delhi you have five seats under st cw delhi you have one seat under ew cw delhi you have two seats now let's see outside of delhi under general cw outside you have one seat under sc cw outside delhi you don't have any seat under obc cw there's one seat so children this was a very detailed video it took me a very long time but since you were insisting so i thought that i should spend my weekends to make this video for you so that it is of help to you so the two three things which you need to remember one is have your documents in place because all your efforts go waste if you are rejected on the basis of your documents second important thing that you have to remember is that uh, we have seen that the number of seats in 85% delhi quota are way way more higher than the number of seats outside delhi so if you are preparing from outside delhi then you have to be very high on the ranking to be able to get the stream or discipline of your choice so please keep sharing and liking the video i have also conducted interviews of various dtu alumni these videos i'll be putting in the hyperlink and in the description box also you can understand entire placement process at dtu you can also understand the difference between nsut and dtu and also uh, how to go about making your cv and other relevant videos so please keep sharing and liking the video for the benefit of other students and if you have any inputs to share please don't forget to put it down in the comment section i would love to read your comments